Hello everyone, X Wallkill Bethelite here. So the show, The Witness, what did you think about it? How did it make you feel? The question also should be, how much has to happen before Jehovah's Witnesses, before people who follow Watchtower, say enough is enough. Like, how much is enough? What has to happen before a person says, okay, I will at least research Watchtower to see if what they have been saying is true, to see if what other people have been saying about it is true. Just to research how much has to happen. Most people who are former Jehovah's Witnesses, they had something, they had this, this red line that they couldn't cross. Kids being molested people not being welcome at their own family members funerals because they didn't want to be a part of Watchtower anymore. They want to go to a different church. Well, these people being so ruthless that they would apply the shunning policy at a funeral. For some people, that was enough. For some people, it wasn't just the fact that you've got elders and people with titles molesting kids, but that once that kid speaks up, you have people that will try to keep it quiet because they just don't want other people to find out. They don't want people to think anything bad about Watchtower. Forget about the kid. <laughs> How do we keep this on the hush? Watchtower wasn't refusing to call the police for years and years and years and years and years because they're worried about confidentiality. They didn't want this stuff to get out what was going on. They wanted to cover it up so that the public didn't find out. Well, if you're Christian, if you follow the Bible, then you know the Bible says that things can only stay hidden for so long before it comes out into the light. And now we have not just individual testimony, but you have television programs on oxygen and a television program with Leah Remini. You've got books that have been written crisis of conscience. If you are a current Jehovah's Witness or if you're a current member of Watchtower, keep in mind that's just a title. It's just words on paper. If you follow Watchtower and Watchtower's teacher, the question I would have is what exactly would cause you, how far are you willing to go? What exactly would cause you just to research Watchtower, their past, research their teachings, compare it to scientific fact or archeological fact, 607 BCE, is that really when it happened? What has to happen? You've got books that have been written. People like to say, oh, people are just making things up. You've got books that have been written. You've got television programs, The Witness that just came on. You have got countless individual testimony of people who tell their stories on YouTube people that tell their stories on Reddit. 
people that tell them their stories on social media, Facebook, you got countless testimonies online. You couldn't read them all. All saying the same thing, countless, all over the country. All saying the same thing. There's no way you can just ignore all that unless you're doing it intentionally. You have people who are watchtower puppets. They will let Watchtower direct every aspect of their life. And they won't question anything. One thing about a puppet is you can make that puppet do anything you want it to do. And that puppet will never turn around and say, no, I'm that's too far. That puppet will never turn around and say, no, I'm not going to do that. That's the case with a lot of people in this cult. They are literal puppets. Watchtower has got its hand up their ass and it will, they will do whatever Watchtower says. And they'll never turn around and say, that's enough, that's too much. These kids out here, that, that's that's too much. We need to we need to stop this. If you were a sincere Christian and you were part of this cult, somehow, if there was some way a person was actually Christian and a part of that Jehovah's Witness cult, then the Christian part of them, whatever percentage that may be. would be hurt to its core knowing that Watchtower has been involved with covering up the sexual abuse. Not just that it happened. The fact that it happened would tear a Christian up. Like, that's just too much. That's too far. We got to pump the brakes. That's too far. We need to change some things. Let's try to fix this. That's what a real Christian would do because there's this thing called a conscience. And here's the crazy thing is you don't even have to be a Christian. You don't have to be religious to have a conscience to say, okay, yeah, that's too much. Let's try to make some changes here. However, you... <laughs> You got people who just don't care. They just don't care. It doesn't matter what happens. There's people that have had relatives die and 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 because of the drug the blood transfusion thing. Because of the medical practice thing. Because they, they the Watchtower hadn't gotten their teachings right since its existence. It's constantly changing its teachings because it's constantly wrong, but they're willing to die about that one. We've had people die that were the cornerstone of families. There's a such thing as a person that is so important to a family that they bring the family together. The family rallies around this person. If you lose that person, then everybody kind of loses contact with each other. I've experienced losing a person like that and we never recover. Never recover and it's obvious if you lose somebody, there's certain things that happen that you just can't ignore. Those things have happened and people still won't even look into let me go online. If this is true, I can prove it's true. <laughs> There's nothing to hide from. That should be a person's mentality. 
after so much happens around Watchtower that you got multiple shows about it. It's been on the news because of lawsuits, and sex abuse, and things like that. You got books, you got almost The Rock screaming out, hey, Watchtower is a cult, get out of it. But you got these people with this puppet mentality that they will not, they will point the finger anywhere and everywhere, at every church, they will point the finger at any church, they'll get all in your business trying to find out who you were with, who you were talking to, what you've been doing, what movies did you watch? Watch how it can cover up thousands of child sex abuse cases and then they'll just turn their back to that. Ah, oh, we'll just let God take care of that. We don't want it. We're not even going to look into it. But they'll be all up in your business. Have you, how many of you, your, your family is talking to, talking to you, they're, they're witnesses, you know, they're part of that cult. And they're constantly, have you been to the hall? Have you done this? Have you done that? They're all in your business as to what you have and haven't done and where you have and haven't been. And they don't even look into the place that they're directing you to. Why are you constantly directing me to go to the hall if you ain't even looked into whether or not what they're saying is true. Outside of just reading their own literature, they're not going to, Watchtower is not going to print a Watchtower saying that it's what it's saying is not true. Researching it isn't just reading the books printed by that particular cult. My real question, and most of my questions that Jehovah's Witness will never answer, how far what has to happen for a watchtower to be considered a false religion or a cult? What has to happen? All of them, all the members of this cult have has got a uh, standard of other churches. They've got a standard for other churches and what reason they won't go to a Baptist church or what reason they won't go to Pentecostal, what reason they won't go to all these other churches or what reason they ain't even really going to do no serious research on their teaching. So the same question applies to Watchtower. Why is it any different? What's the standard? Is it the teaching? The teaching's been false. I mean, that's, that's easily proven. That's proven just by the whole concept of new light. New light meaning what they used to teach was wrong and they just keep changing it. So we know the teachings haven't been up to par. What about the conduct of Watchtower as a whole? Well, they look at a pastor here or there running off with the church's money and they look at that as representative of a whole religion. So Watchtower, you know, why wouldn't you apply the same logic to Watchtower? All these thousands of child sex abuse cases that are getting covered up, why don't you apply that to Watchtower? You applied it to the Catholic Church, why not apply it to Watchtower and say, yeah, they got all that going on. They can't be true Christians. It's not possible. Because you got puppets. You got people with no mind of their own. A person with no mind of their own is not going to do independent research. They're not going to do it. They have no mind of their own. They're going to believe whatever in the world they're told about whatever. They're not going to question. They're not going to research. There's nothing Watchtower can do to people that's so bad that will cause a person who is just a puppet 
a watchtower puppet to, to, to stop and reason and think. Is watchtower something that I should just put full trust in? Full trust in man. That's my question is how many souls have got to come out? The witness, all these other things. How many souls have got to come out? How many times does the news have to point out what's been going on with Watchtower? How many independent testimonies do you need to have online and on YouTube and everywhere else? How many books need to be written? And what has to happen for a person to research Watchtower. And then at the end of the day, the whole scripture about a person coming up to, to Christ and saying, hey, I did this in your name, I did that, didn't I do this and didn't I do that? And, and Jesus is like, I never knew you. Like, not even that what they're doing wasn't good. I don't even know you. Who are you? Get get away from me, you worker of lawlessness. That's these that's these watchtower puppets. That's these people, hey, didn't I go knock on this door and then I go give out a watchtower magazine? And didn't I give a comment at a watchtower study? And if you're a religious person, you know. Jesus would be like, you did what? You know what I mean? You you knocked on a door? Like, okay, we got all these homeless people. We got all these people that are uh, in need of food and nourishment. We got all these kids being molested. Y'all organization is one of the people that's been doing it. We got all this stuff going on. And you figured you had favor or or you had Jehovah literally behind this organization just because he's passing out some magazines knocking on doors and passing out magazines that's all y'all do and you turn your back on the plights of others the plights of others which is literally you can't ignore you can't ignore everything online all the books all the shows all the news articles you had all that in front of you and you wouldn't even look into whether or not that organization was true or not. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought about the, the show. Uh, but I'm thinking not just this show, but all the shows that have come on, everything that's out there, what has to happen for a person to just research? That's all you got to do. Just research that organization. 937-789-4029. We'll discuss it. X-Wall Kill Bethelite signing out.